Theodore and I started off on a really positive note this year. He's really easy to talk to and he always makes me laugh. Most days we had the same conference period, so a lot of times we would grade papers together and stuff. Occasionally he would make an off-color comment, but I didn't think he meant anything by them. I thought he was just being complimentary. So I started getting a little uncomfortable after a while. It, it started off as funny little jokes here and there, but it got worse and worse and it wasn't funny anymore. I mean, I, I couldn't bring it up to him because we had been friends for so long and I'd never said anything before. And he was always a perfect gentleman around other people. It was only when we were alone. I didn't know what to do and I didn't think anybody would believe me if I told them. So finally I went to my supervisor and I asked. What is sexual harassment? The following information can be found under board policy on the BISD website. Board policy ensures that districts comply with all federal and state regulations. Verbal or physical conduct based on a person's sex, race, color, religion, or national origin constitutes unlawful harassment when the conduct, one, has the purpose or effect of creating an intimidating, hostile, or offensive working environment, two, has the purpose or effect of unreasonably interfering with the individual's work performance, or three, otherwise adversely affects an individual's employment opportunities. Conduct of a sexual nature also constitutes harassment when one, submission to such conduct is made, either explicitly or implicitly, a term or condition of an individual's employment, or two, submission to or rejection of such conduct by an individual is used as the basis for employment decisions affecting the individual. When is conduct considered sexual harassment? In trying to decide if a situation is sexual harassment, Note that at least two common elements must be present. First, the conduct must be sexual in nature, such as unnecessary touching, lewd or suggestive remarks about the body or gender, or a display of pornographic photographs in the workplace, but it need not involve sexual relations or a demand for sexual relations. Second, the conduct must be unwelcome. Which of the following is not an example of sexual harassment? A principal requiring sexual favors in exchange for favorable job evaluations. A lead teacher who continues to use sexually explicit language even after being told that such language is offensive. A campus cafeteria manager whose sexually oriented verbal or physical conduct creates an intimidating, hostile, or otherwise offensive work environment, a fellow teacher sending a crude email that contains bad language. A fellow teacher sending a crude email that contains bad language is not an example of sexual harassment. Although the law doesn't prohibit simple teasing, offhand comments, or isolated incidents, this is still considered inappropriate behavior in the workplace. How do I report sexual harassment? You should report any claims of sexual harassment to your supervisor or human resources department. The district is required by law to investigate any claims of sexual harassment. The harassed can file with the EEOC within 180 days if unsatisfied with the district's findings. So I found out that there are actually laws out there to protect me from this kind of stuff, but I had to speak up, and I'm really glad I did.